Pearl Tutorial Part 63 CGI.PM Return an image from a script In this tutorial we're going to set the MIME type of the document to an image and then send the image directly to the web browser and we'll be able to work with the image in our program Set up your script like this and we will begin programming now I've got an image here of a flag after we upload our script and our image to our server we're going to open with the handle called image our image which is called flag dot gif Then we're going to get the size of our image and we're going to read So we get our size of our image and read the image into the variable called data and then we close with our handle. Now we have to set the MIME type in the header so we print CGI header type and we set our type to image slash gif and then comma our image which is contained in the data variable so that is the finished script so save the script and upload it to your server along with whatever image you've referenced in here and upload the image into the CGI bin where your Perl script is located put it in the same directory now okay the script and the image are uploaded into the CGI bin and if we just run the script we get our image like so now what we can also do is if we take our script and put it into an image tag src equals your server.com slash cgi bin slash our script dot pl or dot cgi and then if we load this page our script is returned as an image in the browser like so now the real secret of the script is that on the surface we're just printing out an image but behind the scenes we could make the script a site logger or something to gather information about your visitors so you could create some information to log so for example we could get the time the visitor visited and we could get 
a whole lot of environmental variables. I'll paste these in. We could get our major environmental variables, the query string, the referrer, the IP address, the host and the type of browser. And then we could open up a file to write the information. So. We'll just append to a file, so we just collect a whole lot of data, and it would pay to flock, which is to lock the file so it can be written to by one person at a time. And then we could print to our file all the above variables time, query, referrer, IP, host, and user agent. And don't forget to put a new line character on the end so we get each visitor on a new line. So now if you uploaded this script to your server each time someone visited the page containing your image tag and your image you would gather information about them in a log file all from an innocent looking image. So that's how to return an image from a script.